Now, a step towards more real channel conditions. In designing RDT 2.0, we are going to assume that the underlying channel is unreliable. But what does unreliable mean? In this step, the underlying channel still delivers all the packets, so no packet loss. However, bits could be corrupted and therefore flipped. How do we recover from these errors? To answer this, let's think about conversation between humans. Assume you're talking on the phone with your friend Alice, and Alice tells something that you do not understand due to bad line quality. What would you do? You will say, pardon me, or would you please repeat that? And Alice repeats what she said, which you could hopefully hear the second time or ask for a repetition again. This process has two elements at the receiver and one at the sender. Detection of error and feedback from you, the receiver, and repeat from Alice, the sender. We will employ a similar approach to solving the problem in RDT 2.0. In data transfer, a similar approach to what we described in human phone conversation example could be employed. For detecting error, mechanisms like checksum could be used. For feedback, we can use AX or NAX. Using AC or acknowledgement, receiver explicitly informs the sender about receiving correct expected packets. In NAC or negative acknowledgement, receiver explicitly tells the sender that the packet had errors. In events of error detection, a corrective action, which is repeating or retransmitting the packet, is performed by the sender. In computer networks, reliable data transfer protocols based on such retransmissions are referred to as ARQ, or Automatic Repeat Request Protocols. Let's take a look at the FSM for RDT 2.0. On the sending side, again, sender accepts data from the upper layer using RDT Send, makes the packet for the data, and sends it using UDT Send, and transitions to the state of waiting for the acknowledgement or negative acknowledgement. If a NAC, negative acknowledgement, is received, the sender sends the packet again and it still stays in the waited state for AC. This is repeated until there is a positive acknowledgement. If an acknowledgement is received and is positive, the sender does not do anything additional, which is depicted by the lambda in the transition actions, but transitions back to the waited state till it receives another packet from layer above. On the receiving side, RDT receive receives a packet from underlying channel. If the packet was corrupt, it sends an ACK and discards the packet. If the packet is not corrupt, it removes data from the packet and passes the data to the upper layer using deliver data. In both events, and after both actions, the receiver stays in the same state. Let's see RDT 2.0 in action in case of transmission that does not encounter a problem in the channel. The process starts with data arriving from the higher layer. Packet is made and sent, and the state has changed so that the sender is now waiting for ACK or NAC from the receiver. On the receiver side, packet is received and it's not corrupted. Therefore, the packet data is extracted and sent to the upper layer and ACK is sent to the sender. The sender receives the ACK and goes back to the state of waiting for call from the upper layer. Now, the series of actions in case of error in transmission. Again, the process starts with the wait for data from the layer above. When data has arrived from the higher layer, the packet is made and sent. The state is changed so that sender is waiting for positive or negative acknowledgement from the receiver. On the receiver side, the packet is received. It is corrupted. And therefore, the packet is discarded and an ACK is sent to the sender using UDT send. The sender 
which is in the state waiting for acknowledgement, receives the NAC and therefore sends the packet again. On the receiver side, packet is received. This time, it is not corrupted. And therefore, the packet data is extracted, sent to the upper layer using deliver data, and the acknowledgement is sent to the sender using UDT send. The sender receives the acknowledgement, goes back to the state of waiting for call from the upper layer. RDT2 we just designed has a fatal flaw. It does not consider the possibility that using unreliable channel could also corrupt ACAN NAC packets. If ACAN NAC packets get corrupted, the sender cannot tell if it received an NAC or an NAC and therefore cannot react properly to what it received. Because if it retransmits, there is a possibility of sending the previous packet again which would be a duplicate packet. And if assumes ACK, it might have been NAC, and the packet might have not been correctly received at the receiver. So there is a need to add another mechanism to ensure correctness of ACK and NAC as well. This could be done with addition of stop and wait in sender and adding sequence numbers to packets to be able to track duplicates. In a stop and wait, the sender sends one packet, then waits for receiver to respond. And by sequence numbers that are added by the sender to each packet, receiver can check if the received packet is a duplicate packet and a packet with a similar sequence number have been previously received. If yes, the packet will be discarded and not delivered to the upper layer. 